Meanwhile, back to the new ownership. It's a fresh start for so many fans dedicated to the burgundy and gold for the long term. That's right. Reaction has been pouring in online about the sale. Fans are very hopeful that the team changes will drive the commanders to the Super Bowl. Yeah, phones are blowing up. Our live <laughs> team coverage continues with our Tommy McFly. Tommy's down at the bullpen in Navy Yard. Uh, to say that the fans down there are stoked is an understatement. It's all happening, and actually, I've got some breaking news for you, too, down here. One of the radio guys from 106.7 The Fan just got on stage and said that Josh Harris bought a round of beers for everyone here at the bullpen. And then everybody rushed over to get beers here at the bullpen. So you can imagine this party's going to escalate pretty quickly. And then the whole crowd started chanting something about best of luck to Dan Snyder. So I guess that was nice of them. They were really happy about the whole thing. And I'm glad that's over because now we're on television. There was also Nana Nana goodbye that was being chanted. So much excitement. So what's going on here? We made some new friends. Stephen Haley, you want to say hi to? Hi, we wanted to say hi to Todd. We want to say hi to Natalie, our mom. We love you all. Thank you so much for watching everything. Watching News 4 at home. Thank you for watching. And we caught up with Brian Mitchell, who is, of course, a Super Bowl 26 champ from Washington. The moment the news broke, we had his reaction. Well, you know, I'm happy. You know, I think when you look at it, it would seem like we were in a, a position of just being stagnant. And now you see that people have a lot of more enthusiasm behind it. And I hope those things happen. This year, let's write it off because new ownership. Like anything else, you're going to bring your own team in, right? So we'll see what's going to happen. But Are you available? You seem like you know what's going on. I'm available, but I don't come cheat now. <laughs> first thing first, put the stadium back in D.C. All the young fans about to see a win. This is a new era. I just had a little girl, and uh, she's one year old, and she's going to become a new fan with this. They don't bring the team back to D.C., they'll never win another Super Bowl. Super Bowl. I'm a Washington in eight generations. We not Maryland, we not the DMV, we're the District of Columbia. It's a big difference, you hear it's me? It's a big difference. Yeah. There's the I survived the Dan Snyder era shirts out here. There's the Bye Dan era shirts out here. And then there's a rally captain. You've been to all of these stadiums bringing Washington fans out into the into the into the, into the country. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, man. This right here is the culmination of what every fan has wanted. A lot of fans said they would never spend another dollar or a dime, one cent, as long as he was the owner. Fan base, what's your excuse now? <laughs> what's your excuse now? I don't want to hear it. Show up at FedEx Field. You rep it hard or you don't rep it at all. I'm going to see what the tickets cost, but I like your energy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's the way it always is, Tommy. I'm the rally captain. You got to rally the troops together, baby. Making it happen. I mean, we got a rally and a half here, and you bring right. rallies everywhere you go. The energy's going on. The free beers from Josh Harris are still flowing. You know, it's going to be a heck of a party. And the sun's coming out. It's like it's, like it's on cue. <laughs> it a new era in DC sports. <laughs> you want